Hey guys, um, my name is Sepko, and today we're gonna learn how to put Gordon Freeman into people clothes. So let's begin. So, uh, someone else released about ooh, a couple weeks ago now, um, and ev um, <laughs> the, the outpouring of support and everyone likes it is, is really cool and I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. Um, a lot of people have been asking how I got Gordon into G-Man's clothes. So, uh, I guess I'll reveal the secrets, as it were, uh, in Source 2 Filmmaker. So you'll, you'll need a copy of Half-Life Alex and all that. Um, now you can do this with Source 1 as well, but it's a, it's a different, more involved process, and I never really learned it properly, and I'll it's a hassle and... Yeah, it's, it's a whole thing by itself, but I'll let you know what's different anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's 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 do this. Uh, so first, we'll go. I'll go through the basics in clothing characters, I suppose. So um, Val has this like civilian randomizer system, kind of for Source Two, where there's a bunch of base models in clothing um, uh, for uh, for all your civilians. Uh, that you see all around Half-Life Alex. Um, so anytime you see them like running around the background in um, any any scenes in in Alex, there are all these base models pretty much that are more or less randomized. Um, and you can do this in Source 2 uh, Filmmaker. So to do that, uh, you get your base citizen model. He's not fully clothed, he's just got his um, just his face and his uh, fingers, uh, and then just pick whatever else you want to put on him. So I got his hair, some pants, shoes, and a top. Pretty simple. So it kind of pops up like that. So uh, when it comes to clothes, basically they all have more or less the same skeleton as your base model. The citizen here, he has all of his bones. Um, they're just yeah, invisible and need some clothes. So to put them on, you just drag and drop uh, the base citizen model onto it. All the clothing models that you've brought in. These lock all the relevant bones to of the base model to the relevant bones of every other model that's there. So now they're all locked to whichever ones they they've been um, locked to for the original model. So you then select them all, uh, except for your uh, citizen one. You just select all the clothes ones, and then you zero them zero them out in the per, in the procedural tab here. And that'll zero them to the bones, to the base bones. And now you have Mr. Citizen. And make sure you have the bones of the other clothes deselected because you don't need them. Um, just have the bones of the main citizen and you've got complete control over everything, pretty much. Very good stuff real cool so yeah like that's seriously all you need to know about clothing citizens of the if you didn't know that so getting Gordon Freeman into Gordon Jimin you have to it's basically the same process but before you do that you need to get rid of some textures so texture editing in Source 2 Filmmaker is so much easier in Source 1. I can't get enough of it. So you just right click your base model, go to utilities, and then you go add material override. That sort of, um, and then when you right click again and go to uh, show an element viewer model, you have this list of stuff here and it adds a new drop down menu called Material Override Materials. And this lists every single material that has been linked to Gordon here. So 
So the one we're going to get rid of is his armor, which is this top one up here. Click your three dots. It gives you a whole list of um, textures to choose from. I go, I just type in UI and the third one in is render UI. This is just a simple invisible one and it pretty much gets rid of everything. So you got your nice little Gordon, Gordon head there. Now before you start all this, I should have said, or should have mentioned rather, um, the base model for Gordon does not cast shadows. Like out of the box Half-Life Alex, he does not cast shadows. Um, I will link the shadow fix in the description below. Uh, that will help you um, get a shadow. Uh, and yeah, we, it looks much better than when he used to. Now, after you've gotten rid of the textures, do the same thing with G-Man. Uh, utilities. Oop. Show no, no, no. Oop. Now this one's a bit more involved because there's a bunch of things here. So you go, yeah. Pretty much invisible everything. Oop, not his upper body. So you want to keep the upper body and the pants. There is, there is clothes, so you don't, don't want to make them invisible. is always a process but it is worth it in the end so deal oops all right empty g-man clothes so like with a citizen get gordon try to drop into g-man select g-man zero everything out you now have g-man's clothes with gordon's proportions just unselected skeleton because you don't need it. And there you go. Now he is missing hands, but we will we'll fix that. And there is the shadow problem as well, which I will talk about in a minute. Uh, before we do all that though, we'll just do some adjustments. So when I do the zeroing, Gordon's head is just a bit too low for my liking. So what I usually do is I grab his neck and just pull him up just a tiny bit. So just pull up, maybe, yeah, you know, about there. A tiny bit to the side. Yeah, perfect. Okay, next thing. There are these, that, there. Um, that is some of G-Man's controls in the unknown tab, which I think are these ones here. And they can be unlocked. So you right click unknown, unlock transforms. And you just select that and just and back in procedural, you just default them. And that'll put everything back where it's supposed to. And then you just lock again, pretty much. Now, give Gordon hands. You can either give him his gloves With Alex's hands, you can change those. Do you know you can change those? You can change those into Gordon's gloves. Look at that. And then you can lock them to his hands there. But, don't wanna, so, get rid of that. What I do is, get the mail, get in there. Uh, Gordon again. Bloop, bloop. Same as before, zero in, done. Okay, now, just unlock his face, because otherwise his eyeballs are gonna stick to Gordon, we don't want that. Now to get, now he has hands, Use his hands. Now to get the face out of there, uh, you select mail, get a buddy, and just unlock his head and neck for now, and then select his neck, drop down. Just just hide it, hide it in his chest. Just it just lives there now. No, no one needs to know it's there. It just lives there. 
See? No one even knows. Now, select Gordon's spine and just lock the head and neck to that. And now we have a fully clothed Gordon. So, tiny little touch ups here and there. His neck does stick out here. Um, I don't usually worry about it until after I've animated everything. Um, because a lot of the time it just sort of does its own thing and um, wiggles its way back in, back inside the clothing. But if not, um, you can select G-Man, get his spine three, and then just sort of move that forward just a tiny bit. And it just covers up this whole thing there. Now to fix up his collar, you grab his head, grab G-Man's head, just move it back. Yeah, you move it back just a tiny bit. Just so it's resting his neck. And the leg is never even there. Tiny bit going up. There we go. So yeah. Now I've got a fully clothed Gordon. Now the thing about Gordon's shadow fix is that it keeps uh, casting shadows even if the texture is invisible. I'm not sure why. No one seems to know how to fix that. So we're stuck with it. <laughs> So my suggestion, suggestion is when you are pretty much done uh, with your animation, with your posing, whatever, when you are 100% done, um, then you do this. Because when, cause if you make a mistake after you do this, it is such a hassle to like put back together. So what you can do, I'm gonna pose Gordon for a hot minute. Let's do his IK rig. Nice and easy. Sometimes, yeah, not too bad here, but sometimes when you move his head around, yeah, like some funny things will happen with the collarbone or with um, the suit collar. So you just play around, and when that happens, you just sort of grab G Man's head and just sort of animate um, the fix there. Just make sure it's in line with the neck and everything. It's a, it's a fidgety little thing, but yeah. So, done with my posing. It's a very good pose. Uh, I'm very happy. And so, what I do next, I select my G Man and my Citizen and uh, unlock transforms. So, if you've animated him, once you've done, if you unlock transforms, the animations will stick. It'll, they'll, they'll stay the way they are, uh, no matter what you've done. So, you don't have to worry about, like, about the the locked bones like rejigging themselves or something like that, they will stick to their animated um, curves and all that. The only thing you need to worry about is locking Gordon's neck, because you want that to stay there. Uh, oh, actually, before you do that, if you've got his IK rig on, um, detach it. Then select his neck, select his pelvis, and just move it out of frame. Move it out of his body. Now, he, he's clean, nice and clean, but there's one problem, his neck's poking out. So, the, it's really the, the one, like, problem when it comes to, like, working with, like, um, Gordon and putting him in different clothes. Uh, just, yeah. When you're animating him or uh, posing him and you're done with everything, make sure when you move that, um, that it's out of camera, pretty much. Um, if you've got a close up, you can just go straight down, doesn't make a difference. Um, yeah, if you go, you just go straight down, that's fine. Um, but yeah, mostly if he's moving around or something, just get everything sort of as far back as you can without it looking weird on the camera. So I got the camera here. So, yeah. 
We also gotta get, like pay attention to Gordon's neck down here because it does screw around with the shadowing sometimes. So you gotta hit that like hit that middle point. That uh got Goldilocks zone as it were. Just to make sure everything's kind of all there. Otherwise you can see down his neck there, but yeah, there's not much you can do about that. Until someone figures out a fix for it. But yeah. Done. More or less. Uh, I, I hope this helped you guys out. I really need to script myself a bit better. But um, yeah, it's it's super easy uh, once you once you know um, what to do, like uh, fixing up everything and all that. It's not that bad. And yeah, I uh, hope this helped you guys out. Uh, thanks again. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.